fast moving waters of Skillet Creek closed down Skillet Road just east of Dayton. This is as close as our cameras could safely get. It just came down fast and it's gouged out everything. And <clears throat> this is the farthest I've ever seen it up this, you know, this part of the road. In Stanhope, authorities kept their eyes on Highway 17. As long as people were taking it slow, we didn't have a problem with them going through it. Just west, in Stratford, residents were evacuated after high water took over apartments on Moore Street. The water kept coming up, but I didn't, I didn't think it was ever going to get this, this much. Steve Anderson lives across the street from the apartments. He tells us the last time he saw the water this high was in 2010. You wouldn't think where I live that you should have flood insurance, but now this is a Second time has happened, so I'm actually wondering if I can get flood insurance because I don't know what damage will happen to the foundation of the house. Welcome to the new tropical island in Stratford, formerly known as Stratford Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. I, I'd say we're uh, at Gilligan's Island right now. <laughs> Administrator Vicki Stout says they didn't have to evacuate residents, but they were on standby. They did move some cars to higher ground. Well, and we have an emergency evacuation plan that's you know, in place so we know what we would do if the water starts coming in any part of the building and we would take, you know, the residents to higher ground. Follow this developing story for you and have more updates right here and also on KCCI.com. I'm live in Stratford, Vanessa Payne, KCCI 8 News. I was Loon's the leader.